everybody. My name is Emily Sherrier. I am the publisher of the Sonoma Index Tribune and the Petaluma Argus Courier. And it's one of the few newspaper publishers under the age of 40. It is my absolute pleasure to represent the North Bay Business Journal in this celebration of the youngest and brightest talent this Bay has to offer. I have even turned my lamp millennial pink to mark the occasion. Today, we will honor 40 young professionals who have wide-reaching impact in their industry and communities. These executives and professionals have demonstrated extraordinary leadership qualities during this chaotic current climate. With 160 fantastic nominees, it was especially hard this year on the selection committee, but we appreciate all who took the time to nominate, thus allowing the Business Journal to recognize these rising stars. It is also my pleasure to recognize today's sponsors, who are the ones who made this event possible. Our underwriter is Exchange Bank, and our award sponsors are Kaiser Permanente and Redwood Credit Union. And our winner sponsors are BPM LLP, Clover Sonoma, and Sonoma Clean Powers. Now, before I go any further, please note we are closed captioning the event, which you can see by clicking on that live transcript icon at the bottom of your screen and then click on hide subtitles. Now let's get on to the awards. Since unfortunately we can't all be together for this year's celebration, we have asked all the recipients to submit a 20 second video answering one of these questions. What have I learned from this incredible time? What messages do I have at this time for my friends, colleagues, and community? How will the pandemic change life as I know it? And what single experience from this unusual year do I want to share? And on that note, let's get to it. Our first award goes to Jennifer Adamitz, property manager at the Barlow in Sebastopol, where she is responsible for all the day-to-day -day operations at this beautiful 12-acre market in Sebastopol. Who doesn't love the Barlow? The single most important event in her professional life for the last 12 months was being promoted to property manager at the Barlow in the middle of a pandemic, no less. She started off with five colleagues, and now for the most part, it's just her holding down the fort. But she says, while it's a lot of responsibility, she is honored to be trusted in taking care of this iconic site. The best advice she's ever received is don't overthink, which is something she still has to work on. Don't we all, Jennifer? Um, when asked the biggest impact the pandemic had on her personal life or work life, she says, Seeing our tenants struggle have affected me personally and professionally. I care so much about everyone here and it's been devastating during shutdowns to have some tenants be forced to clo fully close without any other options. My thoughts of the Barlow don't leave when I drive home at the end of the day. Growing up, she wanted to be a fashion designer and her hobbies include travel, going to concerts, painting, drawing, and reading. The last vacation she took was a short trip to the Oregon coast with her best friend, but she's very eager to get back out there on a trip with her husband soon. And with that, let's play Jennifer's video. While 2020 and 2021 have certainly proven to be challenging years, I think this is a time we need to remind ourselves to be thankful for all the things we so often took for granted. Eating inside a crowded restaurant, our families filling our homes with cheer and laughter during the holidays. It is my hope that we never take these things for granted again. Smile, even if it's under your mask, and be kind to one another. Excellent words and congratulations, Jennifer. Next up, we're celebrating Melissa Apuya, the D District Director for the Office of State Assembly Member Mark Levine out of San Rafael. She actually manages both his offices in Marin and Sonoma County. She also represents the Assembly Member at meetings and functions with constituents, and she works with his staff to plan district events and town halls, as well as outreach and educational opportunities to discuss legislation. She also is tasked with working closely with elected officials, community leaders, and businesses. She says the single most important event in her professional life in the last 12 months was balancing working at home with raising a two-year-old at the same time. Oof, that's a tall order. She says, in a perfectly imperfect way, I did well for myself. Her next professional goal is to get more women and people of color in leadership positions in the government. Her hometown is De Dota, Guam. And when asked her favorite movie, she said Moana, because representation matters. 
Finally, when asked what her mom and dad brag most about, she said, my dad used to talk about the work I do for the state of California, but these days he just talks about my son, his first grandchild. Who can blame him, Melissa? Let's see Melissa's video. One thing that I'll forever cherish from this past year was the opportunity to work from home, but more importantly, it allowed me to spend more time with my family. In the last 12, 13 months, I've watched my son grow literally and figuratively. And it's so true when they say the days are long, but the years are short. Congratulations, Melissa. Next up, we have Quinn Arnson. She's a partner at Farella, Braun, and Martell LLP in St. Helena. Quinn counsels clients on a wide range of real estate transaction issues, such as acquisitions and dispositions, leasing, financing, and joint ventures. In addition, he assists wine and cannabis entrepreneurs with their real estate and business needs. He said his greatest professional challenge is balancing his workload with parenting two young children. Absolutely. When it comes to business, what is the greatest and the worst thing about being under 40? He says, people tend to underestimate you and think you are less experienced. That is a great benefit when you can surprise them and exceed expectations. It is a disadvantage when it stops you from getting a chance in the first place. Absolutely. His next professional goal is to take everyone out to lunch once restaurants reopen, which hopefully he's getting around to now. His hometown is Madison, Wisconsin. He also serves on the board of directors of the Sonoma Valley Vintners and Growers Alliance and was a membership of Leadership Napa Valley. Growing up, he wanted to be not a lawyer. Uh, and the number one thing he hopes to accomplish by the time he turns 40 is to visit six continents. That's a great goal. Let's see Quinn's video. What I've learned from these trying times is that people are highly adaptable. If you had asked me 14 months ago whether parents could work full time while taking care of kids or whether teams could collaborate successfully without ever being in the same room, I would have been doubtful. But we made it through. Here we are. Absolutely. It is now my pleasure to introduce Michelle Osborne, a partner with BPM LLP and herself a former 40 under 40 recipient from the class of 2010. She'll be helping to present the next award. Take it away, Michelle. Congratulations to BPM's Annie Azevedo. Annie is a tax supervisor specializing in partnerships and flow through entities in the wine and consumer products industries. She is a 2017 graduate of SSU, where she was class valedictorian and is a rising star at BPM. Annie has shown tremendous leadership and is a valuable resource for our clients in the North Bay community and beyond. This distinction is well-deserved. Congratulations, Annie, from all of us at BPM. Hi, Annie Azevedo here with my response to the question, how has the pandemic impacted me and my life? And I have to say overall, just feeling a greater sense of gratitude, um, feeling really thankful for all the things that we used to do before the pandemic and maybe took for granted. So looking forward to being able to hopefully getting out and doing more of those things in the near future. Um, so thank you. And I hope that everyone is enjoying the event. Thank you, Michelle, and congratulations, Annie. Next up, we have Alberto Botello. He's a child support specialist with the Sonoma County Department of Child Support Services in Santa Rosa, as well as the director of Camp Nunez in Santa Rosa. For the Department of Child Support Services, Alberto performs the more complex child support establishment and enforcement work, in addition to training and reviewing the work of lower level staff. Over at Camp Nunez, Alberto plans, manages, and runs a free week-long overnight summer camp for more than 100 underserved students in Sonoma County. Amazing. He considers the camp his greatest professional accomplishment, saying, having attended summer camps as a child, I know how important summer camp can be for a child. When the previous director, Martha Nunez, passed away in 2016, I was asked if I was interested in taking on her role to make sure the camp continued to happen. I am proud to have picked up the torch so that I can continue to provide a safe summer program for underserved youth in our community. 
says the best place to work outside of his office is on a nice sunny outside on a nice sunny day. His hobbies include running and hiking. And while running, he'll probably be listening to his favorite app, Spotify, which definitely helps keep people moving. Let's see Alberto's video. Hello, my name is Alberto Botello. What I've learned during these very tough times is how important our social interactions and relationships are in keeping us healthy and sane. We must remember to reach out to our family, friends, and neighbors to see if we can extend a helping hand and just to touch base with them. Thank you. Thank you, Alberto, and congratulations. Up next is Mia Bowler. She's a partner with Friedman Goldberg and Wargo Hess LLP in Santa Rosa. As a partner, she collaborates with her partners and contributes to decision-making in the management of the firm. Her law practice is primarily focused on estate planning and working with other attorneys, paralegals, and legal assistants. They try to provide excellent service for their clients. When asked about her greatest professional challenge, she said, prior to the pandemic, it was balancing time with my family and the pace of a demanding and growing law practice. The pandemic has added an extra layer of difficulty in transitioning from a workflow that included a lot of face-to-face -face interactions with team members and clients to one that was almost entirely remote. I think we can all relate to that. Her most disliked industry buzzword is billable hours. In a business sense, what is the greatest thing about being under 40 and then what is the worst? She says, I think I'm still young enough to impress people with what I know. I imagine at some point that will shift to an expectation. Very true. In her free time, she enjoys outdoor activities, particularly skiing, camping, hike, and hiking, and of course, watching her daughter at the playground. Her first job was as a soccer coach, and her favorite social media is Instagram. Let's see Mia's video. Hi, Mia Bowler, partner at Freedom and Goldberg Wargo Hess. And um, thank you to the North Bay Business Journal for honoring me as recipient of the 40 Under 40 Award. And my message is just that I am so looking forward to getting back together for in-person meetings in the near future for just both professional and personal contact. Looking forward to those casual conversations with everybody. Absolutely. And congratulations, Mia. Up next, we have Jeff Dodd, who is a partner with Koblenz, Patch, Duffy, and Bass LLP out of Napa. There, he specializes in land use, environmental, and water law. He spends his time counseling North Bay entrepreneurs, small business owners, wineries, farmers, and nonprofits on issues related to government regulations, real estate, and wine and ag-related business. When asked about his biggest change in COVID, he said, a, the decrease in in-purse connection with clients, colleagues, family, and friends. His mentor is his mom, who started an interior design company when he was young. But every time she went to hire a contractor, they would mess up the job. So she went and got her own general co contractor's license. And now she does both design and build work herself. She has a company that is 25 years old and has a dozen employees. Fantastic, mom. When asked about the one thing he wants to accomplish by the time he turns 40, he said, I would like to hike from Mount St. Helena to Lake Hennessy with my wife. Before we were married, we started the route, but I proposed marriage halfway through the trek and then champagne in Calistoga sounded a lot better than a hiking up a thousand foot elevation. Yeah, I can agree with you there. <laughs> Let's see Jeff's video. Perhaps I've always known it, but something that I've really learned over this past year is how close and tight knit the North Bay community is. Whether or not it's devastating wildfires or worldwide pandemics, um, our North Bay community really knows how to come together and support those who need it most. Um, that's definitely the attitude that we've taken at my law firm, Coblins, and that's something I'm very grateful for. Thanks, Jeff. Next up is Nate Fryer, who's a regional project manager with Providence Santa Rosa. 
There, he researches, develops, and manages project implementation across six hospitals in the Northern California region. I'm sure he has been busy this year. He says the most important event of his professional life in the last year was unifying his company's brand. When he managed, he managed the efforts to change the name from St. Joseph Health to Providence. He says it's been humbling and transformative experience that he is grateful to be a part of. His next professional goals are to develop a project management office and become a director of his department. A typical day at the office includes 200 plus emails, five to seven meetings, helping his son with virtual assignments when his wife isn't home and playing with his kids for an hour or so, which he calls a perk from working from home. Those are the best perks. Growing up, he wanted to be a professional baseball player and his favorite movie is Remember the Titans. Let's see Nate's video. I've always been a family guy, but this pandemic has made me realize how important family really is. They get you through the hard times and the good times. And uh, this pandemic has been somewhat hard on us and uh, we've gone through it uh, stronger and more resilient. And uh, I don't think I could have done it without my family. So that's what I've learned from this. I feel like we can all relate to that. Up next, it's my pleasure to introduce Terry Flynn, the SVP and Commercial Real Estate Banking Manager for Exchange Bank, who's going to help us introduce the next three awards. Take it away, Terry. Hello, my name is Terry Flynn with Exchange Bank, and I have the honor of doing three of these presentations. First up is Jennifer Beretta, and Jennifer is the Assistant Herds Woman at Beretta Dairy here in Santa Rosa and she is in charge of a wide range of aspects at the dairy. She is hardworking, passionate about our community and is a fourth generation dairy farmer. She uh, single most important event in her last 12 months was becoming the Sonoma County Farm Bureau president. And she is only the second woman in the history of the organization to receive that position. So with that, I'd like to wish her uh, congratulations and Thank you. And the next recipient is Doug Marshall. And Doug is the operations manager for Right Contracting LLC here in Santa Rosa. And as the operations manager, Doug currently oversees the team projects, the company safety program, along with coordinating with their estimating department in different development projects. His greatest accomplishment is being able to provide a building that meets each client's expectations. So with that, congratulations, Doug. Hi, I'm Doug Marshall with Right Contract, and I'm honored to receive the Top 40 Under 40 Award uh, for this year. Um, what I've learned and the knowledge I've gained from this, this time that we are in in the past few years is that us as a community, are extremely adaptable and fluid in, uh, in adjusting to the current state of affairs we are in, being um, local fires and recently the pandemic, and how we are able to adapt quickly and continue to progress our um, careers and businesses as a whole and as a community. Thank you. And our next award winner is Caitlin Finley Thorne. And Caitlin is the Chief Operating Officer with Sonoma County Fair and Exposition. There's many different aspects to what Caitlin does, including sales, production, marketing, uh, operations, security. Uh, she said one of her greatest professional challenges have been having to work through three wildfires when the fairgrounds was activated as a disaster site. So with that, we will say congratulations and well done, Caitlin. While Caitlin was not able to send us a video, she did want us to share this message. What I have learned most during this incredible time is not to take anything for granted and to appreciate all the things that I am blessed with in my life. This time has really forced me to slow down and refocus on the things that matter to me. Absolutely. Congratulations, Caitlin, Jennifer, and Doug, and thank you, Terry, for helping. 
Our next award recipient is Dr. Michael Glamour. He's a urologic surgeon and a member of the board of directors for Anadolp Medical Group in Santa Rosa. Dr. Glamour's clinical and surgical duties include trauma, oncology, and benign disease processing. As the youngest board member, he helps to keep the medical group running. He is also a finance committee member, robotic surgery committee member, and a St. Joseph's peer review committee member. He says the best advice he's ever received is if you don't take a temperature, you can't find a fever. I think that's good for both medical and business. His next professional goal is to foster a relationship between the hospital he works with in Haiti and the one here in Sonoma, or in Santa Rosa, in hopes that resources and lessons could be shared between the two. The one thing he hopes to accomplish by the time he turns 40 is to learn to ski. Jokingly, he said, as a native Floridian, the largest hill I grew up with was a garbage dump. <laughs> his favorite book is Catch-22. His favorite movie is Ocean's Eleven. And his favorite app is ESPN. Let's see Michael's video. Nice. Dr. Claymore here coming in from my favorite operating room. And during COVID, I have learned that our hospital providers are incredible at confronting adversity and helping out this community. But of course, it's just as important that we're helping out at home. Great production value on that video. Next up, we're honoring Anna Ray Grabstein. She's the Chief Compliance Officer for the NorCal Cannabis Company in Santa Rosa. She's responsible for a little bit of everything, but a special emphasis on HR, operations, cannabis licensing and compliance, government policy, and community affairs. She said, when asked her greatest professional challenge, she said, being a business leader as the cannabis industry changed from clandestine to regulated. I want to see cannabis treated like any other business instead of being held to laws and regulations that create undue burden and barriers while also constricting opportunities. On a personal professional level, being a woman in corporate leadership striving to build an equitable and diverse business community for all people is challenging, but something that I am devoted to. Her hobbies include spending time with the people she loves, gardening, cooking, outdoor activities, live music, and anything with her son. Her favorite book is Signature of All Things. And if you wanna buy her a drink after work, it should probably be bubbly from Iron Horse or the cannabis beverage, Hi-Fi Hops. Let's see Anna Ray's video. Hi, I'm Anna Ray, and this last year has taught me to be nimble and flexible and that by working together, we can get through anything and end up stronger on the other side. Excellent words. Next up, we're honoring Nick Haley. He's the Director of Operations for the Boys and Girls Club of St. Helena and Calistoga. He's responsible for the development and implementation of the club's youth programs, which span six sites. He also coordinates with three school districts in the area to help provide academic assistance, as well as maintenance and upkeep for facilities, oversight of budgeting, coordinating volunteer problem, pro, blah, coordinating volunteer programs, and a little bit of everything. He says, the greatest thing about being under 40 is feeling like I can change my habits I may have. Nothing I do in terms of leadership is so ingrained that I can't adapt. The worst thing might be that people underestimate my experiences and capabilities as a leader. The best place to work outside his office is in his backyard under a giant oak tree. His hobbies include playing basketball, hiking, reading, and listening to music with his son. Growing up, he wanted to be a football player slash archeologist saying like an athletic Indiana Jones. I mean, who wouldn't want that? After work, you'll most likely find him sipping on a tequila on the rocks. Now let's see Nick's video. On behalf of everyone involved with Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga, my colleagues, our team, the board and the community we feel very blessed and grateful to do so much over the past year for so many people. 
And to my beautiful family, Alex, Tyler, and Colton, I love you all very much. Congratulations, Nick. I'm now going to introduce Mike Sullivan, who's the EVP and Chief Credit Officer with Exchange Bank, who's going to help present the next award. Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan, Chief Credit Officer here at Exchange Bank. It is my honor to recognize Greg Hancock uh, as a recipient this year of the 40 Under 40. Uh, Greg is a Vice President Relationship Manager here on our construction and commercial real estate team. Greg, we've literally watched you grow up before our eyes. Uh, you've become a great husband, a great father, and now you manage the largest portfolio within the bank. You have a great mentor in your boss, Terry Flynn, and uh, he has taught you to be uh, take a customer-centric approach to work uh, very closely with your customers and to always deliver, and you do. Um, we are blessed to have you here in the bank, and those of us in executive committee look at you as one of the future senior leaders of this bank. And so with that, we're just so proud of you winning this award. Um, congratulations, Greg. I wanted to share the silver lining of working remotely during the pandemic, which has been extra time with my now two-year-old son. When we look back on this in the future, I won't be thinking about the challenges and the uncertainty. I'll be thinking of that extra time I had with him. Thank you for the recognition, and I look forward to seeing everyone in person real soon. Thank you, Mike, and congratulations, Greg. Next up, we're celebrating Lindsay Hoops. She's a proprietor and alpha dog. I love that title over at Hoops Family Vineyard and Winery in Yachtville. There she wears a lot of hats. She's the owner, COO, CFO, and CEO. It's a lot of C titles. She's also challenging the status quo to create a new Napa where families, farmers, and wineries of all sizes can flourish, thus reconnecting luxury to the agricultural roots of Napa. When asked what steps her company is taking to sustain the organization and morale in this current economy, she says, open book management and including all team members in the process of understanding these challenges. Her next professional goal is to create a spice company and expand the wine brand to include more robust culinary and garden programs. That sounds fun. Her most disliked industry buzzword is natural wines. Her hobbies include travel, cooking, eating, those go well together, planning beautiful events, languages, and watching her children laugh. As a child, she wanted to be a spy. Her favorite app is Pinterest, and after wine, or after work, you'll find her drinking wine, of course. Let's play Lindsay's video. I have learned that everything I think or know can literally change overnight, but also that change is not always good. While it's dramatic or potentially scary, change can have a lot of amazing benefits. And so as long as we stay flexible, open to change, and the possibilities that it can bring to us in our personal lives, then we can actually prosper and overcome any negative impacts. So I look forward to approaching my business and my family with this renewed optimism that I learned during the pandemic that change is great and change can bring some of the most fantastic things, even if it doesn't appear that in the beginning. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay. Up next, we're celebrating Lisa Howard. She's the co-owner and winemaker at Tolinas Vineyards and Winery in Fairfield. As the co-owner and the head of winemaking, she has the opportunity to make an impact from the start to finish. She oversees the entire production process, including harvesting, crushing, fermentation, aging, blending, and bottling. She's also in charge of marketing, packaging, product development, branding, sales, wine club membership, and more. Her greatest professional accomplishment was scoring a gold menu medal in the International Women's Wine Competition for their Eclipse White Pinot Noir. Ooh, that sounds good. Her next professional goal is to get a score of 95 points or higher from a highly ranked wine critic. It's not surprising that when asked the best place to work outside of the office, she said, the vineyard. 
She said, I love walking the vineyard rows, checking in the fruit and sampling the grapes. Growing up, she wanted to be an astronaut and her favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. Let's see Lisa's video. Each one of these barrels tells a story, the story of a year, the story of a vineyard. When you open a 2020 wine, you're gonna remember a time when entrepreneurs created opportunity in the midst of a crisis, when we remembered how fragile life really is and how to put our money towards small and local businesses fighting for the American dream. Next up, we're celebrating Valerie Cushel. She is the founding attorney of VG. <laughs> she is the founding attorney of VGK Law in San Rafael, where she provides compassionate legal advice to her clients in the areas of trusts and estates. She spends her days meeting with clients to understand their goals for their families. She translates those goals into legal documents that protect them and create legacy. She said the single most important event in her professional life in the last 12 months was hiring her first full-time employee. The steps she's taking to sustain her organization and morale during the current economy. She says we offer flexibility for employees dealing with illness or childcare issues. Her next professional goal is to continue to grow her law firm in a way that supports her community. Her favorite book is Man's Search for Mo Meaning, and her favorite movie is Coming to America. Let's play Valerie's video. Hello, my name is Valerie Cashel, and I am the founding attorney at BGK Law. I want to thank the North Bay Business Journal for selecting me as one of the 40 under 40. I'm honored to be part of this fantastic group of people. I'm also honored to share the selection ship with my spouse and husband, Zachary Cashel, the founder of Marin Sonoma Impact Ventures. Uh, Zachary and I are both working hard to continue to build community and develop relationships in this community that we both love. What I've learned with COVID-19 is the importance of those relationships and this community. Though we've had to change some of the ways that we interact in the short term, I've learned that community is more important than ever. And uh, whether we are meeting over Zoom or in person, creating those legacies for families, developing the community and the businesses in it, and working together is how we are all stronger and how we make it through these difficult times. I feel so lucky to be part of a wonderful group of people in Marin and Sonoma and to be selected as one of the North Bay Business Journal's 40 Under 40. Thank you. Continuing with our power couple here, obviously, we have Zachary Cashel, who is a founder and managing partner of Marin Sonoma Impact Ventures down in Corte Madera. He focuses 100% of his professional efforts in helping local entrepreneurs build the next great North Bay company. His greatest professional accomplishment was successfully launching his business during a global pandemic. And his next professional goal is raising and launching the North Bay's first regional venture capital fund in 2021. His first job was at the service department of a car dealership in high school where he got to drive some pretty cool cars, but uh, that was just part of the challenge. His favorite app is WhatsApp as he loves keeping in touch with friends all over the world. And after work, you'll probably find him drinking a Mexican Coke. Let's see Zachary's video. Zachary Cashel here, founder and managing partner of Marin Sonoma Impact Ventures. Thank you so much for this incredible honor here tonight. It is an absolute pleasure to join this incredible group of people. We are that next generation of business leaders here in the North Bay, and we have the opportunity, but also a responsibility to make sure our community's future is brighter than its past. And I, I look forward to working with each and every one of you on that over the, the decades ahead. A special shout out to my wife, Valerie Cashel, founding attorney of VGK Law, also an honoree tonight. The only thing cooler than being a part of this list and crew is the fact that Valerie uh, was also honored uh, here tonight for the incredible work she's done in the North Bay legal community. Congrats, Val. And thank you to everyone. I look forward to the opportunity to seeing everyone in person uh, and really carrying these conversations forward 
about where we're all heading. Thanks so much and thank you for the honor. Up next, we're honoring Margaret Leonardi. She is the winemaker at Fetzer Vineyard in Hopland for their flagship and namesake brand, namesake brand Fetzer. Margaret is responsible for the entire winemaking process from grape to glass, starting with sourcing fruits in the vineyards, fermenting, aging, bottling, and even supporting sales. When asked the single most important event of her professional life of last 12 months, she said, thriving in the midst of a pandemic and an eventful 2020 harvest. We took many precautions around the wine area and that we had to adapt to new ways of communicating and everything took much more time and effort. In the end, our amazing team made it happen. The best advice she's received is do what you love. And her next professional goal is studying to become a certified bourbon steward. That's cool. Hobbies include softball, hiking, cooking, camping, crafting, and traveling. Her first job is as a ranch hand on her family's dairy. And when asked what her mom and dad brag most about, she says, my parents often use the phrase, we drink a lot better than we used to. I bet you do. <laughs> Let's play Margaret's video. This past year, I have a new sense of appreciation. I've really appreciated how Fetzer Vineyards has been so supportive and accommodating as we've navigated these times to make everyone feel comfortable and safe at work, which took a lot of teamwork, effort, and trust. Personally, I have a renewed gratitude for family, health, and overall well-being. I've really learned to appreciate the simple things in life that make all this hard work worthwhile. Thank you, Margaret. So we're about halfway through our program at this point, and I will now introduce Kate Kelly, the Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Sonoma Clean Power, who's gonna help present the next award. Take it away, Kate. And now a little bit about Willie Linares, Marketing Coordinator for Sonoma Clean Power and City Council Member for the City of Frontert Park. Willie reviews and approves the annual budget, establishes long and short-term objectives and priorities, oversees performance of the city manager, and the effectiveness of programs. He also passes ordinances and resolutions, regulates land use through zoning laws, communicates policies and programs to residents, responds to constituent needs and complaints, and represents the community to other levels of government. Willie cites his greatest professional accomplishment as having won a seat on the Rohnert Park City Council. And Willie claims his greatest professional challenge was having been laid off during a pandemic and while running his campaign. However, that led to a new role with Sonoma Clean Power. Willie says his best advice received is work so hard that people start to notice without you having to tell them. Civically, Willie participates as a member for the Active 2030 Club of Rohnert Park and Katati. Hannah Boys Center, the Runner Park Foundation, and the Latino Alliance of Runner Park and Katati. When he grew up, Willie wanted to be a sports broadcaster. His favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption, and his favorite after work drink is an old fashioned. Willie says his last vacation was Super Bowl 54 in Miami. On behalf of all of us at Sonoma Clean Power, Willie, we congratulate you on winning 40 under 40. What have I learned from this incredible time? I definitely have learned that I am not a work at home type of person. I very much look forward to interacting and collaborating with coworkers face to face whenever it is that we do go back into the office environment. Thank you, Kate, and congratulations, Willie. And I have to agree, I am, I am looking forward to being around people again. <laughs> Up next, we're honoring Colleen Mahoney, the Orientation and Family Programs Coordinator for Sonoma State University in Runner Park. She is the one who plans, coordinates, and executes the new student orientation for all incoming first year and transfer students, which includes about 1,800 students every fall and 500 students every spring. She says the single most important event in her professional life of the last 12 months was success 
successfully launching an entirely virtual student orientation. When asked about the advantages and disadvantages of being in the business field under 40, she says, being under 40 allows me to be young enough to dream about new possibilities and my desire to chase them, but old enough to feel intimidated by my age and apprehension that I will run out of time. Her hobbies include cooking, crafting, reading, and playing with her daughter. Growing up, she wanted to be a dentist, and her favorite book is A Time to Kill. Let's see Colleen's video. Hi, everyone. What I'd like to say about how I think this pandemic has changed life as we know it, I hope, is that we continue to give ourselves a little grace when we need it. We stay passionate about supporting local businesses, and we are thankful for our health, both physical and mental, and the loved ones around us. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Colleen. Next up, we're honoring Seth Mays. He's the president of GMH Builders, Inc. in Sonoma. There, he's responsible for the overall company development, risk management, and financial oversight. He says his greatest professional challenge was taking a gamble on himself. He left a great employment position to create a new firm from the ground up. Very brave. The best advice he's received is always make, make your time count with double or triple benefit. What steps is he taking in his organization to sustain morale and the current economy? He says, ongoing communication and positive outlook with employees, flexibility to work from home when childcare needs are needed. His next professional goal is to secure additional construction market share. His first job was as a tool master. His favorite movie is Braveheart. And after work, he's probably drinking a glass of Pinot Noir or a margarita. Let's see Seth's video. First, I'd like to thank the North Bay Business Journal for putting together events just like this, and keeping us all together and connected at a time when we've all been driven so far apart from each other. The message I'd like to share with the community is that we really need to support the future of our community, our youth. Along with supporting local business and business supporting other local business, do not forget about the kids. We've been through so much in recent years from firestorms to a pandemic We've gotten through it by helping each other out. And now more than ever, that includes our youth. Important message. Thank you, Seth. Next up, we have Nicholas Mendoza. He's the director and lead teacher of Aqua Montessori in San Rafael. There, his responsibilities include enrolling new students, managing finances, and ensuring that daily operations run smooth. As lead teacher, he's also responsible for leading the Montessori curriculum and maintaining academic standards. His greatest professional accomplishment was opening his own Montessori school. His greatest professional challenge has been enrolling students during the pandemic to fill the classroom and allow the school to operate. The best advice he's ever received is keep it simple. His next professional goal is to earn a master's degree in Montessori education. His hometown is Quezon City, Philippines. And his hobbies include sports, cooking, singing, and camping. When asked what he wanted to be when he grew up, he said a scientist. And his first job was as a summer camp counselor. Let's see Nicholas's video. To my colleagues and community, in these trying times, control what you can, work with what you have, and hope for the best. Thank you, Nicholas. Up next, Jamie Mickelson, owner and founder of Sonoma Mountain Beef Company out of Santa Rosa. As the sole proprietor, she handles everything from the daily management of her herd of cattle to bookkeeping, to marketing, to selling at farmer's markets and managing her customers, which include retail, restaurants, private chefs, and individuals. When asked what steps she's taking to sustain her organization and morale in the current economy, she said, building more volume to expand the customer base. I'll have to add an employee soon to help with the daily sales and marketing efforts needed. 
good problem to have. Her mentors are her parents, Jim and Marcia Mickelson, along with her accountant, Wallace Wurstisch, who has been a great mentor and advisor. Her most disliked industry buzzword is influencer. And her hobbies, she says she's slightly addicted to jigsaw puzzles, but also loves taking her horses out for a ride. Her favorite book is anything by Nora Roberts. And her favorite after work drink is a glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Let's see Jamie's video. Hi everybody, here's the pack here is coming up here, I feel crazy. Not going on, but I have a maker for you. You can pay good, be kind, be humble, and for all I can care, for the boy. And if you have some of pack for you, you make it do every day. And if you have a lot of local people, they will support you too. You be pay good, go do it. Thank you, Jamie. Up next, I'd like to please introduce Brett Martinez. He's the president and CEO of Redwood Credit Union, who will help present the next award. Take it away, Brett. Today, I'm honored to present a 40 under 40 award to Gladys Milligan. Gladys is the branch manager of our American Canyon branch. She's a first generation college graduate in her family, and attributes her banking career success to her education. She has developed strong partnerships with the community and her team members, supporting them all through the challenging year. Gladys is treasurer for the American Canyon Community and Parks Foundation, and hiking is one of her passions. She also enjoys traveling, cooking, and watching her kids play sports. Thank you to the North Bay Business Journal for this opportunity to recognize her accomplishments Congratulations, Gladys. We are all very proud of you. Living through this incredible time we're in has taught me the importance of empathy. Everyone is going through something. So each day I try to bring my best self to every interaction. If I can make someone smile by helping them through a difficult situation, that's what I'll do. And I'll be there as things improve, helping our community members achieve their financial goals and dreams. Thank you, Brett, and congratulations, Gladys. Next up, we have Bernie Narvaez. He is president of Narvaez Insurance Services and a council member for the city of Napa's fourth district. At work, he develops sales and marketing strategies, trains and supervises employees, as well as growing the client base. He says his greatest professional challenge was when he was Marine Corps unit, was activated to serve in Iraq in 2008, the same year his company opened for business. He said, fortunately for me, my family was able to help during my leave. Well, thank you for your service, Bernie. When asked about the biggest impact that COVID had on his work and personal life, he said, we provide insurance to many small businesses. It is difficult to see so many businesses close and struggle during the pandemic. Yeah. In a business sense, what is the greatest thing about being under 40 and what is the worst? He said, you're old enough to gain experience, but not old enough to know it all. When asked when he wa what he wanted to be when he grew up, he said a fighter pilot. His favorite movie is A Bronx Tale. His after work drink of choice is scotch. And when asked what his mom or dad brags most about, he said the fact that he's a Marine veteran. Who can blame them? Let's see Bernie's video. Hello, I'm Bernie Narvaez, and I wanna share with you what I've learned from this incredible time we're in. During this past year, I've learned to see, hear, and appreciate our essential workers in a new way. They have kept their community running smoothly. I've also learned patience as we have worked through new rules and situations we could have never imagined. I've seen our strength as we take care of each other, and I'm grateful that we have come together to create solutions. Congratulations, Bernie. Next up, we're honoring Natalie Odom. She's the general manager of Muscardini Cellars out of Kenwood. Her responsibilities include a little bit of everything from financial planning to inventory management to marketing and compliance. 
Her next professional goal is to work a harvest season somewhere abroad. She hopes to learn more about harvest by participating participating in a hands-on experience. When asked about her typical day at work, she says, when you were general manager and responsible for a team and all aspects of a business, there really isn't a typical day at the office. Every day is different, which keeps you on your toes. Growing up, she wanted to be a nurse. The thing she wants to accomplish most by the time she turns 40 is to complete a full marathon. Her first job was at Target, and her favorite after-work drink is Iron Horse Sparkling Wine. I think that's the second Iron Horse mention. Uh, Let's play Natalie's video. My name is Natalie Odom, and I'm the general manager at Muscardini Cellars in Sonoma Valley. What I've learned from this incredible time and the message I have for my friends, family, and colleagues is to love where you live and love what you do. If you truly have passion for what you do and you enjoy working at your job like I do, it doesn't even feel like work every day. That is excellent advice. Thank you, Natalie. Up next is Gianna Peralta. She's the Infection Prevention Manager at Queen of the Valley Medical Center in Napa. She has the incredibly important role of overseeing the hospital's infection prevention prevention principles and practices. Not surprisingly, she says the single most important event in her professional life of the last 12 months has been the COVID-19 pandemic. She said, it was almost one year ago our facility accepted the first COVID-19 positive patient from a cruise ship. I vividly remember receiving the transfer notification, changing out of my pajamas and driving to the hospital that evening to support our frontline caregivers. Once the ambulance arrived, I personally escorted emergency service personnel and the patients to their rooms to oversee their handoff. I worked through the night, only leaving around 7 a.m. the next day to catch up on sleep. Her hometown is Napa. She was actually born in the hospital where she now works. Her favorite book is The Great Influenza by John M. Barry. Ooh, I'm going to have to check that out. Her favorite app is Instagram. And her favorite after work drink is a great glass of red wine or French 76. Let's play Gianna's video. My message is we are a hospital and we take care of sick people. Thank you to my friends and family who supported me throughout the many ups and downs. Thank you to the Napa community that has rallied behind our hospital to show their support and dedication. And thank you to my amazing colleagues who have demonstrated tremendous bravery in facing the unknown and heroic dedication to providing exceptional patient care. Thank you, Gianna, especially in this important year for infection control. Up next, we're celebrating Christopher Peterson. He is the owner of Willowside Meats in Santa Rosa. He's been working in the industry since he was 16 years old, but these days he oversees product development, manages the day-to-day operations, along with production of their custom cut and retail facility. The best advice he ever received came from a high school teacher who told him that four-year degrees are not the only path to success and that pursuing a trade could prove just as successful. The best place to work outside the office is watching the sunrise while feeding the animals on the ranch. His hobbies are hunting, fishing, spearfishing, horseback riding, and sports. Growing up, he wanted to be an underwater welder. That's cool. And his favorite movie is The 310 to Yuma. Let's see Christopher's video. I've experienced firsthand that life is at times cut too short. This pandemic has proven to a lot of us, nothing is guaranteed. The most important thing I've learned in life is the more that you give, more life will ever give back to you. Thank you and congratulations, Christopher. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Sam Lee, the area pharmacy director for Kaiser Permanente Santa Rosa Medical Center, who is also a past 40 under 40 recipient and will help present the next five awards. Take it away, Sam. Next, we have Victoria Reschke. She is a category business manager 
Central Valley, Napa. Victoria is responsible for managing the lumber and building materials portion of the business. This includes managing a replenishment team that procures the products they supply. She also creates monthly marketing tactics to focus on, as well as long-term promotional tactics that target key areas of our business. For example, decking, fencing, and sliding. Her next professional goal is to become a director of category business management, overseeing our lumber and building materials area of our business. Her most mentor, her admired business person and mentor is everyone on her team. My whole team has multiple years within this industry and since I have started, they have been able to teach me a lot. You are as strong as your team and together over these past two years and a half have become very strong. What you want to be when you grew up, a lawyer. First job, my first job was a part-time bagger at a grocery store. Social media you most use, Facebook and Instagram. What does your mom or dad brag most about you? My parents brag about how proud of me they are in my career. They enjoy telling their friends that I am a lumber buying in Napa, California. That's the end. Hello, I am Victoria Reschke, Category Business Manager with Central Valley Builders. The message I have for my friends, colleagues, and community is continue to stay strong, empathetic, and connected. Together we will get through this and come out even better. Next is Sean Steine, Integrated Marketing Manager for Keysight Technologies. Sean manages the marketing communications for the 5G segment at Keysight. He puts all the pieces together to promote the 5G products and solutions to the technology industry worldwide. 5G is the most exciting and topical segment at Keysight right now, with a vast array of innovation technology that is currently flooding the industry. Greatest professional accomplishment. I started my own freelance digital marketing agency on the side eight years ago called Wine Country Digital. I've been able to meet and help many small business owners around the North Bay and have learned an immense amount about owning and operating my own small business. Best advice received, don't talk about it, be about it. Best place to work outside of your office, my sunny porch in Penaluma. What you want to be when you grew up, an inventor of some sort. Social media you mo most use, LinkedIn. Last vacation visiting my brother in the shadow of the Grand Tetons in Idaho. Next, Mia Stornetta, Winery Relations Manager for Atlas Vineyard Management, located in Windsor. Mia is responsible for selling wine grapes for their clients between Napa and Sonoma counties, as well as the Willamette Valley in Oregon and business development in the various regions. Her other duties include being the point person for all wineries regarding day-to-day -day operations. She also manages trucking logistics during harvest on the North Coast. Single most important event in your professional life in the last 12 months. The 2020 harvest tested everybody in the wine industry, but it was a great accomplishment to come out of it resolving many issues while still having solid relationships after that. Best place to work outside of your office in all the vineyards. Hobbies, I love to cook, bake, explore the coast, golf, play any sort of sport, and travel. What you want to be when you grew up, a teacher. Favorite book, To Kill a Mockingbird. Favorite movie, Parent Trap. Favorite app, Peloton. In light of the challenging times during the pandemic, I am extremely grateful to be involved in agriculture as our essential labor force continued to safely provide people with food and wine on their tables, even during the most trying of times. Next, Julie Swanstrom, Client Services Director, Community Child Care Council of Sonoma County in Santa Rosa. Julie manages the Early Care and Education Department Subsidy Services, providing access to child care for over 2,300 children monthly. She oversees staff training and supervision, system maintenance and development, implementation, planning, and evaluation of programs. Ensuring delivery of high quality family and provider case management for 4Cs, alternative payment programs, and center programs. 
next professional goal. My next professional goal is to find a way to implement some of our current practices and flexibilities developed during COVID into our business practices long term. This will allow us to keep utilizing what is working, continue to be more supportive, meeting the needs of families, and improve our effectiveness overall. What is your most disliked industry buzzword? Babysitter. In the child care field, the care offered in early childhood and educational programs is so much more than just a babysitter. What do you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a variety of things when I grew up. However, the one I remember the most vividly was being a librarian since I like books and keeping things in an orderly system. Social media you most use, Instagram. Favorite after work drink, a nice glass of red wine. Throughout the last year, I've been reminded how important people are in our lives and how much our relationships matter. I'm thankful for the amazing friends, family, and coworkers that allow me to be involved in the community through good and hard times. The lesson that stuck with me is to care for each other. Thank you for this honor. Next, Emily Peterson, Inpatient Pharmacy Director, Kaiser Foundation Hospital at Santa Rosa. Emily oversees the hospital pharmacy operations and their ambulatory surgery center pharmacy, which includes being responsible for sterile compounding licenses and practices. She is also responsible for regulatory compliance and partners with all other departments throughout the hospital to facilitate meaningful improvements, which support safe, high quality, and affordable medication delivery to their patients. Single most important event in your professional life in the last 12 months. Being able to procure the first doses of remdesivir for our patients, it was the first glimmer of hope for treatment during the pandemic and being at the forefront and going through the process is an event I will not forget. Number one thing you want to accomplish by the time you turn 40, making a positive impact in our community in regards to opioid and prescription drug abuse and prevention through community engagement and education. Next professional goal, pursue a degree in Masters of Public Health. What is your most disliked industry buzzword? The new normal. What you want to be when you grew up? A pharmacist. Favorite movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. Favorite app, Pinterest. The catastrophic events of the last few years have had a direct and enduring impact on our community's collective mental, physical, and emotional health. Time and time again, our community has shown great resilience. Now, more than ever, we must acknowledge each other's unique circumstances and support one another as we rebuild our community, working together towards a brighter and healthier future. Thank you, Sam, and congratulations to Victoria, Sean, Mia, Julia, and Emily. All right, we're getting down to it, the final five. Stacy Walker is a principal at TLCD Architecture in Santa Rosa. As a partner, she elevates the firm's design standards, upholds the principles of opportunity and equity, and also helps support a great team. She says the single most important event of her professional life in the last 12 months was being selected for the North Bay's 2020 Women in Business Award. Congratulations. Her next professional goal is to expand the firm's interior design presence in our region. Typical day in the office, she says, quote, feels like a distant memory after almost a year of working at home. Whether in the office or at home, her days consist of many meetings that just keep her on her toes. Her first job was as a sales associate at The Gap. Her favorite book is the Harry Potter series. And her favorite movie is Overboard. Who doesn't love Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell? I have to agree, Stacy. Let's see Stacy's video. As I consider what the workplace of the future looks like, place plays an important role in company ethos and shared purpose, providing valuable team engagement and needed social connection. We've adapted to remote work environments and expanded the use of technology while recognizing the value of how inclusive engagement and positive connections with your coworkers impact workplace culture. Thank you, Stacy. 
Up next is Mary Watts, who is the Deputy Director for Community Action Partnership of Sonoma County, based out of Santa Rosa. There, she oversees the implementation of several existing programs, as well as contributes to the development of new programs, which are all designed to enhance resources and improve the well being of our low income community members. Her greatest professional accomplishment was working with her team to quickly address the needs of that community during the 2017 fires. When asked about the single most important event of her professional life in the last 12 months, she said, I moderated a conversation with our Santa Rosa police chief and two local black activists. This conversation was so important to have around police and community relations because black lives matter. Well said. Her next professional goal is to uh, work on education equity policies. Her mentors are Dr. Susan Cooper and Michelle Obama. Growing up, she wanted to be a politician. One of the things she hopes to accomplish by the time she turns 40 is visiting at least two other continents. And her first job was choreographing children's musicals with her mother's company. Let's see Mary's video. Hello, thank you very much for this recognition. I think this last year, everyone has been impacted greatly. And for me, I actually brought my first child into the world in September of 2020. And I think I learned that it's important to appreciate all the little things that you have and that it's okay to take a slower pace and enjoy life as it comes. Thank you, Mary. Up next, we have Lauren Wong. She is the Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Aperture Sellers in Healdsburg. Over there, she oversees all of sales and marketing, as well as brand development and hospitality for both Aperture Sellers and Devil Proof Vineyards, while also working with a small senior leadership team to develop long-term company and growth strategies. Her greatest professional accomplishment is helping to grow a label from just two people in a couple hundred cases to a wine brand with a state-of-the-art production facility, a state vineyards, and a luxury hospitality venue. Her typical day at the office, she says, I don't truly have a typical day, which is part of why I love my job. I could be attending a press check, overseeing a photo shoot, prepping for an event, or sitting down for an informative wine tasting. Sounds like a fun collection. The best place to work outside of her office is the Aperture Hospitality space out in the vineyards. Her hobbies include cycling, yoga, reading, and of course, time with her son. Growing up, she wanted to be a ballerina, but after 18 years of professional training and a lot of bruised toes, she decided to focus on her education. Now she just dances for fun. Her favorite after work drink is grower champagne. And her last vacation was to Corsica with her husband pre pandemic. Let's see Lauren's video. This last year, I have really learned to pivot quickly, to invest even more fiercely in digital, and to get innovative about moving experiences into the virtual space when needed. I've learned to focus even more strongly on analytics as they continue to tell us about shifting and changing consumers' behavior. And more than anything, this last year has really demonstrated for me the power of collaboration and the success that can come from a strong, dynamic, and creative team working hard together. Congratulations, Lauren. Next up, we're honoring Ashley Worley. She's the Director of Education and Community Engagement at Luther, Luther Burbank Center for the Arts in Santa Rosa. Over there, she's responsible for the development, execution, and oversight of the daily operations, along with 20 education and community engagement programs offered by the Luther Burbank Center. She's also responsible for ensuring that the center's education programming, outreach services, and engagement activities meet the need of our diverse community. Her greatest professional accomplishment was making the leap from public school teacher to nonprofit director. Her next professional goal is to develop a model of programming that marries virtual and in-person events and opportunities. Her hometown is Bricktown, New Jersey. 
her biggest goal she hopes to accomplish by the time she turns 40 is to, ooh, this is fun, volunteer for an elephant conservation site. And her first job was as a cake decorator. Let's see Ashley's video. In the past year, we've learned new skills and adapted to a new way of life. It's our responsibility to take a hard look at how we operated in the past and take this opportunity to shape a future which reflects everything we've learned. I, for one, have learned that just because we've always done something one way doesn't mean it's how things should continue in the future. Excellent point, Ashley. Our final recipient of the day is Michael Young, the first vice president for wealth management and trust at Bank of Marin in Nevada. There he strives each day to do better so he can provide legendary service to clients, colleagues, and his community at large. His greatest professional challenge has been finding the time to accomplish all of his professional goals while striving to be the best husband, father, and community member. The best advice he received was never get outworked. His hobbies include running, playing tag with his kids, which is kind of like running, smoking meats, and cooking. When asked what he wanted to be when he grew up, he said, my fourth grade self would have said a basketball player, but my high school self would have said a lawyer. His first job was working in a warehouse at a shipping company near SFO. His favorite movie is Top Gun, and his favorite app is Twitter. Let's see Michael's video. The last 12 months really made me appreciate the little things in life that I used to take for granted and sometimes even dread, like the smell of concessions at a baseball game or the noise of a crowded restaurant, even juggling holiday parties. I also realized how, how blessed I am to have such wonderful people in both my personal and professional lives. Would have made it through these times without them. I want to congratulate the other honorees. I hope to see everyone at a ball game real soon. Thank you, Michael. And congratulations to all of this year's 40 Under 40. Let's give them a virtual round of applause. It's been a pleasure to host this event tonight. And thank you again to our sponsors, our underwriter, Exchange Bank, our award sponsors, Kaiser Permanente and Redwood Credit Union, and our winner sponsors, BPM LLP, Clover Sonoma, and Sonoma Clean Power. And also a thank you to our North Bay Business Journal team, Tiana and Cole and everyone else for corralling this excellent event. Keep an eye out for our upcoming Business Journal virtual events, which include the North Coast Cannabis Industry Conference on May 5th, and Building the North Bay Conference on May 12th. You can register for both of those at the North Bay Business Journal's website. Also keep an eye out for the full list of 40 under 40 winners and profiles in Monday's North Bay Business Journal, which you can find both online and in print. And again, thank you for being here to support our brightest young professionals. We so appreciate you taking the time. Have a great evening.